Hello, Software Guy here with a new video. Today, we're going through a quick and simple guide on how to install a lightweight NVIDIA graphics driver using a tool called NV CleanStall. If your system feels bloated or you're trying to reduce background processes, this can help cut out unnecessary features from the default NVIDIA driver package. The process only takes a few minutes, and the result is a cleaner, more efficient install. Now, I want to be upfront. This won't magically boost FPS by 50% or fix deep system issues, but it can lead to a more stable, responsive system and slightly better performance in certain cases. If you find this helpful, consider giving the video a like and subscribing for more clear, no-fluff tech tutorials. You'll find the download link for NV CleanStall in the description below. Click it, choose any server, and save the file. Once downloaded, run the .exe file. There is no need to install it. It runs as a portable app. Once open, you'll land on the main screen where you can select which driver to install. Here, NVStall will automatically detect your current GPU model and driver version. You'll see information like driver type, DCH, or standard. If it's 64-bit, whether it's a studio or game-ready driver, and your currently installed version. For most users, the best option is to click Install Best Driver for My Hardware. This ensures you get a compatible and stable version. However, if you need to install a previous version, for example, if a new driver is giving you trouble, you can manually select one by checking the Show All Versions option. When you're ready, click Next. Now comes the most important part, choosing what parts of the NVIDIA driver to install. You'll see three quick options at the bottom. All installs everything. Recommended installs what NVIDIA deems necessary. Minimum installs the absolute essentials. For most people, recommended is the best starting point. If you're on a laptop, be sure to take Optimus to support switching between your GPU and integrated graphics. Here are a few things to keep in mind. HD audio via HDMI. You can disable this if you don't use HDMI audio. USB-C driver. Only necessary if you're connecting a USB-C display. Visual C++ runtimes. Recommended to avoid missing dependencies. FrameView SDK slash Quadro features, only needed for advanced users or professionals. GeForce Experience features, if you want features like shadow play or game filters, read this next part carefully. When you select GeForce Experience, some additional components will automatically be required. Shadow play needs GeForce Experience, virtual audio, and process monitor. GeForce Experience itself requires Node, JS and NVIDIA backend services, shield streaming required by process monitor. If you don't want GeForce Experience at all, you can skip it entirely. This will reduce background services and telemetry. After confirming your component selections, click Next. Now NV CleanStall will download the appropriate NVIDIA driver, strip out the components you removed, prepare a custom installer for your system. When it finishes downloading and building the installer, you'll reach another configuration screen. Here are the final tweaks I recommend. Disable NVIDIA telemetry, reduces background tracking. Enable Clean Install removes remnants of previous drivers. Unattended Express Installation automatically installs everything you just set up without user interaction. Once you're happy with all the settings, click Install. Since we chose Unattended Installation, the entire process will complete without needing you to click through setup prompts. If you want to save the custom driver installer for future use or for other PCs, NV CleanStall gives you the option to build package at the end. This creates a standalone installer with your chosen settings built in, great for sharing or reusing later. Once the install is done, restart your PC if prompted, and you're good to go. That's it! You've now installed a cleaner, more efficient version of the NVIDIA graphics driver, customized to your needs. This won't always lead to huge performance gains, but it can help reduce system clutter, background processes, and issues caused by unnecessary features. If you found this guide helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing. If you have questions or run into any issues, leave a comment. I do my best to respond to everyone, and like always, thank you for watching.